why is Ohio State ranked, pardon me, the Ohio State ranked uh, above two SEC teams through uh, a couple months here in your estimation? The eyeball test has helped them. They have been dominant on both sides of the ball. As somebody who has seen Ohio State in person this year, I would agree with that. They have been the most impressive team. And I feel like as talented as Ohio State has been in the last few years, and and you see a lot of that reflected in all those guys who are in the NFL now and doing well, I think this team feels different than the ones that Urban Meyer had in the last few years and just the way they are playing. And their strength of schedule, the numbers actually are pretty good. Now, certainly Wisconsin has has sputtered a little bit, but you see I think they're going to get a boost off that. They're certainly going to get a boost off of – when they play Penn State, uh, they're going to get a, a, a boost off of playing your alma mater. I don't, you know, the way the committee has done this, they may have an opportunity to be a a twelve and one conference champ and get into the playoff. It would not shock me right now. I'm not saying it's a lock, but you may have as much chance of two Big Ten teams getting in as you have potentially of two SEC teams getting in. I mean. We'll see what happens now, but I think Penn State has got the committee's attention. They're going to play Minnesota, who hasn't really played anybody yet, but they are undefeated. If Penn State whips them, they're going to play an Indiana team that you know hasn't really played anybody great yet either. But they're seven and two. I mean, Penn State has a real has a lot of uh, has a lot that they can build off of for momentum, and certainly Ohio State does too. What if Minnesota runs the table, sir? That would mean that they would have wins against Penn State and Wisconsin and Iowa, and assumedly against the Ohio State in Indianapolis in a Big Ten championship game. There's a path there, just the same as there's a path for Baylor too, wouldn't you say? Right now? Oh, there's definitely a path. I mean, they. Those teams, and certainly I would put Baylor in this, they they just aren't going to get the benefit of the doubt some of these other powerhouse programs are going to get right now, and especially with, with Minnesota's non-conference being what it was. I mean, our crew happened to do the their first game. They played FCS South Dakota State, and they had their hands full with them. Um, they're, you know, give them credit. They are undefeated. They, but they have played a bunch of teams that have had backup quarterbacks when they've had to play them. And so, I think that there is still a lot of skepticism with Minnesota. That's why you don't see them in the top sixteen. You see them behind a two-loss Michigan. You see them behind two-loss Florida and Auburn, and and even K State. So, uh, but they are they now is where it gets heavy and if they if they can answer the bell on these and and beat some of these better teams mm-hmm. they're going to they're going to shoot up the shoot up the committee rankings but right now i think there's there's still quite a bit of skepticism with them and and you know similar to uh similar to where i think Baylor's at right now i mean they're not as far back i think they're they're 12 but they are behind a couple of two lost teams from the SEC as well. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.